Hello students, welcome to the online class once more. Do you remember where we stopped last time? Yes, we were doing a very interesting story that is The Bond of Love by Kenneth Anderson. And we completed seven paragraphs. Today we are going to continue from the eighth paragraph. Let me read out the eighth paragraph. Before that, let us recall a bit what we did in our last class. Till now we got to know that Bruno, the baby bear, was living very happily with its masters that is the writer and his wife and it used to drink and eat almost everything that its masters used to do so now let's move to the next paragraph one an accident befell him i put down poison barium carbonate to kill the rats and mice that had got into my library. Bruno entered the library as he often did and he ate some of the poison. Paralysis set in to the extent that he could not stand on his feet. But he dragged himself on his stumps to my wife who called me i guessed what had happened off i rushed in the car to the vet's residence a case of poisoning tame bear barium covenant what to do so students it is a very interesting paragraph here a very terrible incident has been described by the writer that happened with Bruno. The writer says that one day an accident occurred. In order to kill some rats and mice, the writer kept some poison in his library. And the name of that poison was barium carbonate. And accidentally, Bruno ate some of the poison after he entered the library without anyone's knowledge. The impact of the poison was so great that it partially paralyzed Bruno. Partially paralyzed means paralyzed him in parts. However, Bruno managed to drag itself to the writer's wife because it could not stand on its own feet. And when everybody got to know about the incident the writer realized what had been the matter the matter was really serious so the writer rushed to the veterinary doctor here it's given vets residence that means residence of the veterinary doctor and the writer in fact could not tell the doctor properly he just said it was a case of poisoning he could not even make complete sentences then he said tame bear and the name of that poison that is barium carbonate and then he asks what to do next paragraph out 
obtain his medical books and a February's reference to index began. What poison did you say, sir? Barium carbonate. Ah, uh, yes. Ba barium salts. Uh, barium carbonate. Symptoms? Paralysis. Treatment. Injection of... Just a minute, sir. I will bring my syringe and the medicine. A dash back to the car. Bruno still floundering about on his stamps but clearly weakening rapidly, some vomiting, heavy breathing, with heaving flanks and gaping mouth. Explanation The veterinary doctor, after hearing the writer, quickly took out his book of medicine, that is the medical book, and then he asked, Again, what was the name of the poison? After he found it was barium carbonate, he asked the symptoms that was seen in Bruno. And it was the symptom of paralysis and the treatment was injection of a particular medicine. So, he told the writer to wait so that he could bring his syringe and inject the medicine. Students, Bruno was still in the writer's car outside and so the writer quickly moved back to the car in order to see his condition. Bruno was floundering, meaning struggling to move on his stumps, on his stomachs, on his stomach because he could not stand on his feet. Now here stump students you must know is the lower part of a tree. Now Bruno seemed to be on his belly rather than on his feet. So he was about on his stems and another meaning of stem means bafflement bafflement means puzzle bruno was also puzzled and confused to find himself in such a condition he was weakening rapidly and he was also vomiting taking heavy breath and his flanks were moving. Flanks means the side part of the stomach. And his mouth was open, gapping. That means he was trying to breathe through his mouth. Next paragraph. Hold him, everybody. In goes the hypodermic. Bruno squeals. Then Sissy of the antidote enters his system without a drop being wasted. Ten minutes later, condition unchanged, and another 10 cc injected. Ten minutes later, breathing less stertorous, Bruno can move his arms and legs a little, although he cannot stand yet. Thirty minutes later, Bruno gets up and he has a great feed. He looks at us disdainfully, as much as to say, Watch barium carbonate to a big black bear like me. Bruno is still eating. Explanation Students, in this paragraph, we find that Bruno is treated medically. The veterinary doctor tells everyone to hold Bruno and then he injected 10 cc of antidote into Bruno's body. Now students, here 10 cc is a measurement that is 10 cubic centimeter. 
After 10 minutes, he was observed, but there was no change in Bruno's condition. So the veterinary doctor injected another 10 cc of the antidote again into Bruno's body. After 10 minutes, he observed and found that Bruno was breathing noisily and that was a good sign. Bruno could also move his arms and legs a little bit. But after 30 minutes, that is half an hour, Bruno was completely well. He could get up on his feet and as usual he started eating and drinking whatever was given to him and the writer in a very funny manner says that Bruno was very angry that he was given barium carbonate to eat that was not fair and so he made a disdainful look at Dan. Next paragraph. Another time he found nearly one gallon of old engine oil which I had drained from the sum of the stud baker and was keeping as a weapon against the inroads of termites. He promptly drank the lot but it had no ill effects whatever so students there was another incident when bruno drank some amount of old engine oil that was kept by the writer to kill termites but uh, that was not terrible in Bruno's case because it did not affect his body and the writer very clearly says that it was the oil from an old American car that is Studbaker which he had so let's move to the next paragraph the months rolled on and Bruno had grown Many times the size he was when he came. He had equaled the Alsatians in height and had even outgrown them, but was just as sweet, just as mischievous, just as playful. And he was very fond of us all. Above all, he loved my wife and she loved him too. She had changed his name from Bruno to Baba, a Hindustani word signifying small boy. And he could do a few tricks too. At the command, Baba wrestled, Baba box. He vigorously tackled anyone who came forward for a rough and tumble. Give him a stick and say, Baba, hold gun. And he pointed the stick at you. Ask him, Baba, where's baby? And he immediately produced and cradled affectionately a stump of wood which he had carefully concealed in his straw bed. But because of the tenant's children, Poor Bruno or Baba had to be kept chained most of the time. Students, this is a paragraph where the writer describes how Bruno had been growing bigger and bigger. The writer says that as months passed, Bruno also grew up and he grew to the size of the Alsatian dogs even fatter than them but his nature was same he was very sweet mischievous and playful 
he loved the writer's wife as much as he did in the beginning and the writer's wife also loved him that much and bruno was renamed as baba baba is a very beautiful name in indian society it is a name that is called out of love and meaning small boy now bruno could do few tricks also he was taught or maybe he learned from imitating others if he was commanded baba wrestle or baba box he would start fighting in a very playful manner and would tumble anyone before him and if he would be said baba hold gun he would take up a stick and would point it towards somebody if he would be asked where is baby he would go to his straw bed and take out a stick concealed under it and would start cradling it like a baby so these were very beautiful and sweet activities of bruno but there was a fear in the writer's mind bruno was growing bigger and bigger and that was a dangerous thing for the children of the tenants so most of the time bruno was kept chained inside next paragraph then my son and i advised my wife and friends advised her too to give baba to the jew at my soul he was getting too big to keep at home after some weeks of such advice she at last consented hastily before she could change her mind a letter was written to the curator of the jew did he want a tame bear for his collection he replied yes the jew sent a cage from mysore in a lorry a distance of 87 miles and baba was packed off explanation so it was a very serious matter for the writer and his family that bruno was growing bigger and bigger at a point of time they started thinking about the matter seriously and one day the writer and his son advised the writer's wife that bruno should be given to the jew at my show after some days the writer's wife really understood the gravity or the seriousness of the matter and she agreed students consented means agreed she agreed to give bruno to the jew at my show before she could change her mind the writer wrote a letter to the curator of the jew students curator here is a person in charge of the jew and the reply was that the curator could keep the tame bear so they sent a carriage 
which was a cage for Bruno to be carried to the Jew at Mysore and it was 87 miles away from the writer's residence. Students, for today let us stop here. We will be completing the story in our next online class. Till then, keep reading, keep listening to what I have said and if you don't understand, listen it repeatedly and I am sure you will be able to understand it in a better way. So students, for today, bye.